John here guys and today we're talking about the new HD Zero video module that has come out for your goggles to be able to fly the HD Zero system. This shark bite module has been out of stock, out of stock for a while. So as the new technology has been coming out, as the one watt video transmitter has come out, as these true RC patch antennas have come out, you haven't been able to buy into that beautiful system at all all whatsoever so what are you to do in a situation like this where you can't actually get your hands on the equipment that you want what are you supposed to do pre-orders just dropped a day ago that's right pre-orders are up at many of the big retailers now and when first announced and the pictures were leaked the price was 199 dollars well several of the retailers seem to be in unison as they are bumping the price up to 239.99 240 dollars for the module and Surge made a statement saying that as it sits, the current module pricing does not allow enough margin for any of the retailers to be able to sell it and actually make a profit. So because of shipping, import taxes, and then shipping to the customer, the $200 price point generally means free shipping that the retailer is paying for they're actually losing money on each module sold that is kind of a problem and because if we want the retailers which are the lifeblood of this industry to be able to continue carrying these hd0 products if we want the system to continue to grow which we absolutely do we need them to be able to make money to incentivize them to carry it so that we can order it from them i see this from many sides guys as a hobbyist i'm a little discouraged because the price went up as somebody that has interfaced with a lot of the retailers that has sort of a small fpb business of my own which is making this content for you guys i understand that you have to be able to make money or else it what reason is it taking up space on your shelves if you're losing money nobody can afford to do that and i understand hd zero's position in that they want to have the lowest price possible in order to help us the customer be able to buy into the system so i understand everyone's point of view and i think we're just gonna have to pay a little bit extra for that video transmitter module i understand what carl was trying to do he wants all of us to have the lowest price possible which is very admirable but unfortunately due to chip shortage pricing due to the increase in shipping costs due to a lot of other factors we still need the retailers to be able to make enough money to keep it on the shelves so kudos to all parties involved um, i'm really appreciative of the whole hd zero team you know i was pretty critical of this system coming out of the gate because i thought it had a lot of shortcomings but i've never seen anything like this in this industry where they were literally listening to every complaint that the community was having and they fixed them one by one by one by one so now we have a very competitive system against dji a lot of racers are using it all both of the big races that i've been to in the last couple of months both the costa rica race that you saw in the minshan documentary and the mayhem team race that i have a film that i'm working on right now both major events had hd zero in attendance zero had dji so just be patient guys don't feel like the rug was pulled out from under you unfortunately that's the situation that we're in right now the manufacturing costs mean that HC0 has to be able to charge something. I have a feeling that HC0 has not been taking profits in a lot of the situations leading up to this, but we really need them to be able to make money because we want them to be in for the long run. We want them to keep making the system better. And at the speed that they've come this far, I have a lot of confidence that it's going to be even better very, very soon. So the first step is to get a wider user base, to get these modules in more people's hands because People have not been able to get them. The goggles are coming. I don't know how soon, but they're going to be here eventually. But in the meantime, you can get this module now for $249. That will support your retailer. It will support HD Zero, and it will support the community that wants this system to grow. If you're a little antsy at what's going to happen with DJI coming up very lately, nobody really seems to know. But uh, what we do know is that development for HD Zero continues to improve, and so we want them to be able to improve. We want them to be able to stay in the game. 
So that's what's going on. What do you guys think in the comments? Does this frustrate you? Did you think it was going to be $99 like this thing was for a while? I knew that wasn't going to be the case. You should have known that too. That was a marketing tactic to get this into the, as many people's hands as possible. If you were lucky enough to get one, I didn't even get one for that price. The Houston crew has been helping the HD Zero community. Several of us are testing various pieces of gear, but I bought into this with my own money. I have it on my goggle at all times so that I can record people flying it and so that I can fly it myself. I'm going to be building up an HD Zero Tiny Trainer that's going to be on the channel very soon. So I'm excited for this. I hope it continues to grow. Please, if you have been waiting for one of these modules, buy it in the pre-order. We don't know how large this first batch is going to be. So if you want one, definitely get one as fast as possible. Thanks, guys. Thank you.